welcome to Conway and the start of a Dragon's Back race. A 200 mile run down the spine of Wales. Five days of action, 82 runners. The race has only been run once before in 1992 and is regarded as the hardest ultramarathon ever run in the UK. Day one. Today's course takes in the big peaks of Snowdonia. 34 miles long, 4,468 metres of ascent. Starting in Conway, the runners run the full length of a Carnade. After the support point, the runners take in the glitters before tackling Snowdon. As the profile of the route shows, it's a brutal day with plenty of blood, sweat, pain and blisters. Day one has got the greatest amount of climb over the roughest terrain with the most wild mountain summits. But the big challenge for the competitors will be pacing themselves and not going too hard on the first day, remembering that they've got five days of racing. I'm really excited to see how it all pans out. The weather is predicted to be sunny and warm, which is going to make for a tough day. Navigation is a crucial aspect of the race. Two of the race favourites, Steve Birkinshaw and Rob Baker, true to form, are leading out right from the start. Penny Arwin marks the descent down to the start of Triffin. And Nikki Sphinx, one of the strong female competitors, is 15 minutes behind. On the ascent of Triffin, Steve makes a decisive move. He's now in the lead on his own. By the time the runners hit Snowden, the field has splintered. Steve still up in front, but looking tired. Rob still in second place. The ladies are still going strong with Nikki Spink in seventh place. Helene Whitaker, winner of a 1992 Dragonback race, in ninth place. Steve Birkinshaw crosses the line first, day one, in nine hours, 54 minutes, and 18 seconds. The first six hours are okay, and then I just really just struggled for about two hours. There was a mountain called Krug Gok. I thought it was going to take about 50 minutes to get up. It took me 80. I was just like wobbling all over the place. I would never get there. And for his last climb, luckily, so it wasn't almost, it was just the snow after that. So I just about held it together, but whew, hard work. <laughs> 